Hello, I am Joey from Dual Solutions. And I am going to demonstrate our smart analyzer and monitoring software. These topics will be addressed in this video. Start the smart application via the desktop shortcut. Add a transport stream by right click and select add transport stream. Enter the stream name and select the input. In this demo we use a file based stream. Enter the stream name and select loop in order to keep playing the file over and over. Now the smart is analyzing the input stream already. When services are found, they appear under non-analyzed services section. Right click, select service analyzers and then start all analyzers in order to start analyzing the services. Let me show you how to set up the multiviewer. Select menu, tools, and then multiviewer preset editor. In the demo setup, there is an existing multiviewer setup already. You can map the services to the multiviewer tiles using drag and drop. Save the multiviewer setup, just close the form and select yes. Select run mode to see the updated multiviewer. When you select a transport stream item in the left tree, on the right side, all transport stream views are shown. We have the current alarm overview, bitrate views, bit overview. All the services and components with their min, max and average bitrates. EPG with all event information. Alarm settings on several levels. TR290 status overview. And we have a tab page showing specific PCR information. The PSISI section shows all the PSI and SI tables in parsed format as well as in hexadecimal or binary format. For example, the EIT scheduled table shows all the EPG information for the coming days on detailed level. When you select a service in the tree, all service level views are shown on the right side. We have current alarm information, general info, EPG. Click on EIT events in order to show detailed event information, like short event description or extended event description. Current alarm settings and specific scrambling information is shown. When a video component is selected, specific video panels are shown on the right. Alarm information, video header information, a packet overview and alarm settings. For audio components, we have specific audio information on the right side. Let me show you how to show one video in the show display window. Right click a service on service level and select decode this service. Select menu, view and then show display to open the display window. You can place the display form anywhere on your desktop. Let me now demonstrate how to check against PSI snapshot. First you have to save the current status, which is assumed to be correct. Enter a logical file name and select save. Fine tune the specific PSI or SI table information that you want to check. Now select compare snapshot file in order to compare the incoming stream against the safe snapshot. When you go back to run mode, you can see the status of the snapshot check as a description in the tree. When a violation against the snapshot is detected, an alarm appears.
Let's have a look at the video alarm settings. Specifically the black frame and freeze frame settings. You can specify an alarm category from 1 to 5. And category extension from A to E. Also specify how many seconds the black or freeze is detected before the alarm occurs. For min and max bitrate you can set the thresholds. Go back to run mode to see the results. You can reset an alarm to force the alarm to be detected again. Now let me show you some main settings. You can undock the multiviewer panel to separate the probe user interface from the multiviewer. Thanks for watching. Visit duels.com for more information.